Well, I started in music um, with just basically the love of of music and, and really the love of drums because I was a very really little uh, child. I was about uh, three and um, whenever I heard music, the drums were always the thing that stood out to me. So I started asking my parents for drums, you know, when I found out what drums were. Um, and I was always padding out rhythms and trying to play rhythms. Um, so it started out very natural for me you know, and it's remained that. It's a very natural love for me to, to love music and, and to love drums. And it's really a, a great part of me because, you know, I've loved it all of my life. After, you know, I started getting into listening to bands and listening to people play, then I started to develop some real great loves for uh, drummers that I, that I enjoyed and drummers who I got inspired by. Um, you know, at first it was just really listening to the sound of the music and hearing you know what was going on and hearing what the drummer's role was in the music and you know fortunately in my house we had a lot of different kinds of music because my father liked jazz so he had a lot of jazz records my mom liked classical music uh, my older sister liked everything from Miles Davis to the Beatles to uh, Jimi Hendrix to Coltrane so she had you know like probably over 200 records in her collection you know of different people so I was able to really hear a lot of different styles and a lot of different music, you know. And then my peer group was listening to the, the, the pop of the day, you know. So there was a, 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 a lot in the mix in terms of um, the influences that, uh, that came. And, and then I started really focusing in on drummers, you know. And, and the first drummer um, who really knocked me out um, and made me get really, really serious um, about the drums was Max Roach um, and we had a family friend who was a drummer an older gentleman who played with Jackie McLean and he wrote out a, a pattern and he wrote out a ride pattern um, so Max was swinging in the right hand he was playing triplets in the left hand and he was playing all 4-4 four, four in the bass drum and 2-4 and four on the sock cymbal and for me you know that was like wow what's he doing how do I do that you know because all the stuff that I'd played prior to that was all three limb style it was all funk stuff rock stuff you know and I hadn't gotten into four-way coordination well that just blew my mind so that really just opened me up and you know from there I, I got into uh, Elvin Jones and then I went back and 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 in terms of the lineage and got into um, uh, uh, Art Blakey um, I got into Roy Haynes, uh, Philly Joe Jones, and my ultimate hero, Tony Williams. I got into him. And, you know, then I was listening also to other musics with other drummers, like uh, uh, I liked Mitch Mitchell, you know, um, and um, I liked the drummers with James Brown. They were nice and funky, you know, and I liked drummers in different groups, you know. Um, I got turned on to, to, to Led Zeppelin later, um, but, you know, it was a very natural process for me. You know, it's hard to say what your own style is. Um, the innovators have their own style. Um, I have my loves and my likes, and I have things that I'm putting together, especially at this point in my life and in my career, to come up with a sound. And, you know, I would have to follow Tony's lead and call it jazz rock because I love the raw um, fire that rock has, the bravado that rock has, the bigness that rock has, but I love the intellect and, and you know, um, the, the feel, the style, the sound, the mood, um, uh, and everything that goes along with playing jazz and creative music. And so when, you know, I mix those two together, um, for me, the sound that comes out is something that's very comfortable um, and something that is really inspiring to me because I can go different ways, you know, because I love playing acoustic music. I can play that way in, in a jazz rock situation. I love playing rock stuff, so I can play also that way in, 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 a, in a jazz rock situation. You know, so I have choices and I have, you know, different ways that I can go and, and, and that is very inspiring to me.
the difference between uh, being a child and loving music and loving it for the first time and being, you know, an adult and having toured and played with a bunch of different people, you know, the, the childlike energy and love and innocence about anything is incredible. So for me, I try to keep that feeling because I always want the music to be fresh and I never want to feel stale or, uh, or um, finished. You know, I always want to feel and know that there's more for me to reach, there's more for me to do, and there's, there's more out there that, you know, I can, I, can, I can grab onto, you know, and there's more out there that I need to come up with, you know, so that I can create and open doors, you know, musically. Um, so the thing to me that's important is to never lose the childlike innocence uh, that I had when I was three, when I was five, when I was seven, when I was 13, you know, I want to keep that. Well, hopefully there's always an exchange, you know, because that's what life is about. It's, you know, it's always about energy, you know, and when there's no exchange, if it's all one person's impetus, then something's wrong. You know, it has to be, you know, an exchange uh, for the energy to work in my concept and in my estimation, the way that the energy works in the cosmos, the way it works in the universe, the way it is in life. Um, the sun gives energy to flowers and flowers produce beauty and they give energy to us. And they make us smile. We make somebody else smile because of the smile that we just made looking at the flowers. So it's an ongoing, you know, it's, 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 it's an ongoing process. Um, so, you know, I have certainly learned something from everybody that I played with. You know, playing with Lenny, I played with him for a long time. I, I was with him for uh, just about 15 years, you know, and um, he's a very driven person, you know, he, in, in his estimation of how he hears, he has a standard, you know, and I like seeing that because I, I have a standard. Um, he's very confident, you know, and that's, that's a beautiful thing to watch, to see somebody who's, who's, you know, just very sure of themselves, so very sure-footed about where he's at, what he's doing. You know, but he also, you know, we've shared a lot of music. You know, we, we uh, uh, exchanged a lot of music, you know, because I love, I love Miles and, you know, and, and, and jazz, and, and, and he had a lot of rock, so we, we exchanged a lot of stuff. Um, Carlos uh, um, is, is very open. Um, he listens to so much music. He loves Miles, he loves Coltrane, um, he loves African music, um, you know, uh, new bands that come out, you know, um, and he's very aware, he knows that the music that he's playing, and the music that is the, the mother of, of all of our musics comes from Africa, you know, so he's very aware of that, and, and he is very conscious of, of making that known to people, he's very conscious of, of uh, being appreciative to innovation. You know, you ask him what he thinks about John Coltrane and, 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 you know, he can probably sit down for, you know, five minutes and, and, and give you a soliloquy on the greatness of John Coltrane, you know, um, or he can just do it in one word, but, you know, he'll let you know how great John Coltrane is or Miles um, or these people, you know, so he has a, a real great love. He's got a great sound um, and I just, I like his attitude because he's open, you know, he's open to... Uh, hearing, you know, different music and different different sounds, um, you know, and then there have been, you know, some other people too that I played with. Don Poland, for instance, he's the person who I first came to Spain with. I played at um, uh, Cafe Central with him, and <laughs> it was my first experience in, in in Spain, ever, and it was incredible. You know, Don was was an amazing musician, incredible piano player, really strong. So I was able to play strong strongly underneath him, but yet I still had to learn how to be strong and intense, but keep it under the piano, because he wanted intensity, but you know, I had to let the piano shine on top of the drums and the bass, of course. Um, so three years of playing with him was a real uh, beautiful experience. Um, he was a really good friend and, and, and a great, great musician. I miss him dearly. Um, 
you know, so I've had some, some, you know, there were others too. I know we were short for time, but th th there are others too. But, you know, basically, as long as there is an exchange of, of good energy, then you're coming out ahead. I don't know what you're going to learn, but, you know, hopefully, you know, um, people, first of all, will feel good by what we're playing. Um, because if we can uplift somebody's heart and uplift somebody's mood, um, then to me that's a great accomplishment you know to make people feel good um, I hope that they experience the things that that I love and that I stand for which are you know striving for excellence um, uh, great feeling um, and not necessarily in this order either um, intelligence in the music rawness in the music excitement um, energy um, uh, bravado, sensitivity, um, texture, color, you know, all these things that can uh, make the music beautiful, make it, make it rockin', make it, you know, uh, intellectual, make it, uh, make it feel good, make it, make it help somebody uh, change their disposition to a better disposition, you know, to a better thought process. All those things I'm, I'm hoping, you know, will come across. And um, that's, that's part of what I strive for, you know. So if we can do that, um, I'll be happy. I'll be really happy.
Hi, my name is Cindy Blackman Santana, and I want to give a shout out to everybody uh, watching Glamorous TV. And um, hope you enjoy the music. They have a lot going on, so please uh, stay tuned and check it out. Thank mm -hmm. you.